what's up? I am Tony making food mana, but in this video, I am Tony moving fast mana. Just rode it around. Um, it's just kind of just hanging up in my garage. Um, and then I came up with this idea and I really, really, really wanted to do it. Um, so now I'm doing this, but the bike needs a lot of TLC. Uh, as you can see, um, I have all the other parts right there. Um, but this bike, this is original. See, this is why it sucked that I had to cut this. I did not want to cut this frame, but I think that the end product will be all right. And I mean, I'm really not trying to sell it. And honestly, if I do this right, and if I do try to sell this bike right here, I think that like I can get some money for it uh, because this will be pretty rad. Um, so it's all original. It's got the original uh, forks, handlebars, uh, the frame's original, original crank. Um, I got to do something with that um, seat post, original. Everything is original with the frame, uh, which is pretty cool. That's why I really didn't want to cut it, but to get this engine in, I had to. So now what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to mount the gas tank um, and put the um, exhaust pipe on uh, and kind of see where all that goes because we wanna make sure that at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I want to make sure that uh, everything is fitting and everything is going together so that when I actually do put the final touches and I do take this bad boy and I sandblast it and I um, just polish it and I get it ready to go, that everything's working. So I'm going to get right into it. I'm going to mount that and I'll get right back with you. Okay, so that took a little bit longer than expected. Um, I was trying to figure out how some of the stuff with the um, motor right here, we have the exhaust, pretty badass, gas can, um, and then we have the clutch over here, throttle is gonna be right here, and then I have to put the sprocket, this bad boy, this is probably gonna give me problems too. Um, back over here, back over, back over here when I get the um, tires in. So a couple of things that I ran into with this was when I cut the frame, I did cut it. And I, you know, I was really, really like sad, very sad that I cut it. Um, however, I didn't cut it enough. So like right here, um, if you could see it right there, I need to put the carburetor on, okay? So the carburetor right here, right? This little guy, this little guy still needs to fit up in here. But as you can see, it just doesn't fit right. Does not fit right up in there, right? So, which means I need to cut this down probably to about right here. So when this fits, it sits right here, okay? So another issue that I came into too is that I'm kind of scared about this gas tank being super, super close right here in the gas line, being super close to the engine, okay? So I do, I might be able to make like a shield or something, or I might be able to raise this up like this. Um, I'm not too sure. I haven't really figured that out, but then yet it also like kind of prevents me from turning a little bit, but not so much. Um, so then also as you come down here, this is pretty cool. I like this, but I'm afraid it might hit the ground, but like, I'm actually like, this is actually kind of cool. I'm glad that it goes down below 
and not out on the side. So I'm pretty, pretty happy about that. All right, so now we're kind of like at the point where I'm not too sure what to do with uh, the engine. Or not the engine, the gas tank. I'm not too sure what to do with the gas tank. Um, like I said, like it's a little bit too close right here, um, you know, to the gas line, which, you know, hooks up into the carburetor, I think. Um, but yeah, yeah, hooks up in the gas, hooks up in the carburetor right here. So the gas line needs to go right in here with the carburetor. And then the carburetor needs to go right here. So I guess like maybe it might not be too close to the um, engine, but I don't really know. I mean, my, my guys are right there. So, and I don't want this to blow up in my face. So we're gonna see, uh, I think I might be kind of done uh, for this session because like I said, like what I really wanted to do, what I really wanted to do is get an idea of where everything fit. And it was good that I did that uh, because like obviously the carburetor, I still need to cut that down. So I'm gonna cut that down. I need to uh, adjust the gas tank, figure that gas tank thing out. Um, so, you know, I don't blow up. Um, and then I need to mount the chain rail Okay, so that's like another thing on the other side that I'm gonna have to do. But this was pretty good, this was pretty cool. This is exactly what I kind of wanted to get done in this uh, little segment, was try to map out everything. So now, moving forward, tomorrow I get some rest, uh, go to the, st the store, maybe something to weld this right here, but obviously I don't think I can weld that right now because now that this is here, you know, there's the whole point of like mapping this stuff out before I make these final decisions. Um, and then something with this, maybe I could take this, weld it up here, right? And it might make the gas tank sit up a little bit higher. And I think that I would feel a little bit more comfortable with the gas tank sitting up a little bit more higher than so much lower to that. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's kind of where I'm at right now. All right, so now what I have to do is I have to cut this pipe right here because uh, my carburetor, my carburetor will not fit right here. I thought it would, and I really, really didn't want to cut this um, frame, but I had to. Um, so my carburetor, I just need to cut just a little bit right off here so i'm gonna get this motorized bike up and ready for opening day because detroit tigers opening day is pretty sweet so um i'm gonna do that and i'll get right back